Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, I am your humble host, Jasmine Gonzo, and this is a quick vid. What's next? Yes, I am going to jump on the Lebroni Karen train. Uh, how Soy Boy Lebroni got put into his place. Um, we are going to see what occurred. We're going to see the aftermath and uh, kind of surprise uh, right at the end. We'll talk about it. Check it out. Courtside Karen, after getting into a heated courtside exchange with LeBron James. This <laughs> lady, wow. The refs even had to stop the game between the Lakers and the Hawks in Atlanta. On social media, the basketball great dubbed her Courtside Karen, and the name has really taken off on social media. Just got kicked out of the game for talking. Her real name is Juliana Carlos, and she and her husband and two others got the boot. Before the game, she posted video showing her posing courtside wearing a mask. Don't talk to my husband like that! But during the verbal altercation with LeBron, her mask came down. You can hear a security guard talk to her. Yeah, Once she got kicked out, she was still livid. Listen, let me tell you. LeBron James looked at my husband during the game and cussed him out. And I stood up and I go, don't talk to my husband. Talk to my husband one more time and I will you up. So who is she? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Okay. Um, yeah, real quick. One, her, you know, who is she, where is she from, what have you, YouTube videos, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. That doesn't mean nothing. That has nothing to do with this. Well, of course, well, we need to go into their background. No. The fact of the matter is, is that LeBron James got into a heated spat with the husband. Husband went basically toe to toe. And what did wifey do? Wifey decided to step in and defend her husband. She did. Now they're calling her courtside Karen. And now people are loving her. Why? Because LeBron James. Do a little bit of historical background regarding LeBron James, say in the last year to two years. And last year to two years, Mr. I am mightier than thou. I am higher than thou. I am the greatest of all time. You're not. It's Michael Jordan. But anyway, facts. Shoots his mouth off and basically gets his foot stuck in his mouth when he opens his mouth. You know, the whole situation with the Houston Rockets general manager when he defended the Hong Kong protests. And of course, LeBron James came out and uh, basically tried to, quote, educate him and that he didn't know what he was doing or saying. And once again, LeBron James gets involved in a situation. Courtside seats. They own it. They have every right to heckle. That's fine. There's been hecklers during, uh, you know, for years in the NBA. Uh, there was one famous heckler uh, for the Washington Bullets slash uh, Wizards um, back, back in the 80s, back in the 80s, early 90s. Uh, I don't know his name off the top of my head. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, did she have a right? Yeah. Her mask came off. Okay. Yeah. You know, what are you going to do? You know, seriously, what are you going to do? So basically, they kicked her out. They kicked her out for speaking her mind. Now, LeBron James has come out and said, well, you know what? She, she shouldn't have got kicked out. You know, it was a heated argument, what have you. He's trying to take the higher ground here. You know, he's trying to be, hey, you know what? I'm a bigger man than this. You know, just because I got put in my place, just because I'm a soy boy, you know, but I'm going to be the bigger man. So when you have this kind of nonsense going on, this is what occurs. But let's continue. After the game, LeBron did not think ejection from the arena was necessary. There was a back and forth between two grown men. You know, we said our piece, he said his piece, I said my piece. And then when someone else jumped into it and, and, and said their piece. Um, but I didn't, I didn't think they were, you know, should have been kicked out. Today, Juliana Carlos writes on Instagram, I want to apologize for losing my cool and removing my mask in the heat of the moment. This <laughs> lady, wow. She comes out and apologizes. She gives her Mia Copa. Now, 
I can understand you're getting angry in the heat of the moment, understood. But the fact of the matter is you don't apologize for what you said. You say, hey, you know what? I'm not going to apologize for saying what I said. I'm going to apologize for losing my cool and be the end of it. No, she decided to take a step back. A lot of people are going to look at it one or two ways. They're going to say, hey, you know what? She shouldn't have basically. She should have stood her ground. She said, hey, you know what? I said what I said. I'm not going to apologize for it. Blah, 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 blah. Or she goes, said, hey, I lost my cool. I apologize for that aspect, but I don't apologize for the reasoning behind it, what I said. But it was nice to see Lebroni get put in his place because every once in a while you need someone who basically tries to you know sit in that high tower thinking that they're, that they're holier than thou, get knocked down a few pegs. It's always nice to see. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Borgonzo. This is what's next, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.